Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to talk about a brand new exciting Synology NAS, the DS1019+. Plus. Right, so for those that aren't aware, CBIT 2018 and Computex 2018 will take place in the next two to three weeks. At these two events at different places in the world with Computex happening in Taiwan and CBIT happening in Germany, in Hanover to be precise, both of these uh, big events are going to draw loads and loads of people to their towns and cities for these big expos. At the same time, Synology are hosting their own private events, um, and by private I mean just not out there, people can go to them, at both Taiwan and Germany at the same time as these events. The result is that loads and loads of new releases are going to be announced from Synology. Now we've got hold of a few of them and we want to talk about them today. The first one I'm going to talk about in this video is the new 5-bay, the DS1019+. Plus. It's the new 5-bay NAS from Synology, a new 5-bay uh, disk station Synology for the 2019 series. Now, where this sits in the food chain, what are some of the hardware, and what is going to be the price are things that we just don't know enough about. And everything I do know I'm going to tell you today, and do check out the NAS Compare article in the description below. But this 5-bay NAS is incredibly similar to the DS918 Plus, as I'm sure you remember. There's a picture on the screen of the uh, new 5-bay there, the 1019. But the 1019 arrives, it's a 5-bay device, and the unit also arrived with some neat little features that we have seen only once before on the 918. I'm not going to say this 5-bay is going to replace the 918 Plus. I don't think it will. It's just too new, uh, the 918. It's not even been around a year yet, so I just can't see it being replaced that easily. But it, this new device will definitely feature an Intel-based CPU. Which one, we're not too sure, because it will come down to three definite contenders. Contender 1... They could use that Atom, the C3538 that was featured in the 1618 recently. I hope that's not the case because the number of you out there are going to be very disappointed that this is just going to be some knockoff 1517 plus. Next, and the more, most likely of all the three, it's going to be an Intel J series, the J3455. If it is that, that quad core 1.7 gigahertz CPU that can be boosted up to 2.3, great stuff. Same CPU as the 918. Alternatively, Will it be a Pentium? We're hoping it's going to be a Pentium like we saw in the 916, and it would be great to see it in this device. Um, but apart from that, it's definitely going to be an Intel CPU, so 64-bit architecture, but apart from that, I'm afraid I just don't know more. But we do know it's going to arrive with 4 or 8 gig of memory, and on top of that, it's going to have two NVMe SSD slots, just like the 918 Plus. Now, once again, I don't believe this is going to replace that device. I think what we're going to see is... Maybe um, this device living next to it because there aren't just so many of you out there that wanted the DS918 Plus but then balked at the last minute because you thought four bays, that's rubbish. Now, again, I think four bays of storage is great, but once you start looking at RAID configurations like RAID 6, you already lose half that storage, and that's when RAID 1 just becomes a better performance option, or RAID 10, of course. So, a five bay device. Uh, stylized on the 918 would actually be a very very good choice uh, that said of course there are other five bays out there in Synology and not a company that keeps a big range of products so it'll be interesting to see how this pans out um, to, in, in regard to price we're just not sure I'm sorry to keep saying it in this video but ultimately you have the four bay the 918 plus that goes for about 400 nicker and then you've got uh, around a 600 quid mark you've got that six bay device the 1618 that was released recently but somewhere in the middle has to live this 5-bay. And where it lives will make a great deal of difference to how well it sells to you. Because the closer it is to that 918, if they can get it at the sweet spot, 480, 500 quid, this is going to be a real game-changing now at that price threshold. Because the 1517, let's be candid about this, was bloody disappointing um, for a number of you and definitely for myself. So the, where the 1019 plus sits is going to be very interesting indeed. Now, do check out the other videos when I talk more about the other 2019 NASs that are going to be featured at these private events, but the NVMe SSDs is just the start of it. Obviously, because it's an Intel-based CPU, it's going to feature BTRFS, uh, BTRFS um, as its file system, and of course, Synology Hybrid RAID, along with all the other um, the RAID levels that you want. Uh, as it's a plus series NAS, it will also feature uh, three years of manufacturer's warranty, and again, we're not sure about extended warranty, and we're definitely not seeing the likes of 10 GBE or a PCIe slot on this. I'm pretty sure they've got that covered already uh, in other devices in this kind of scale. It can be expanded up to 10 hard drives with the DS517, and of course, this device is going to feature DSM 6.2. We're hoping to hear that this is going to be released very soon in its final complete release. No more betas. But... 
when this device is available, once again, it's probably going to support all the apps. So in Plex, Surveillance, all of those Synology proprietary apps, Active Backup, um, virtualization and more all of them will be supported by this device and we are looking forward to seeing what more is going to come of this device in the coming months when we hear more and more about the specs and where it lives within the food chain of other NASIs. So if you want to learn more about this do visit the NAS Compare article below I will try and update it as soon as information becomes available. Of course we will be covering Computex and we will be foot, feet on the ground at CBIT in a few weeks from now and at both of these we will be heading over to the Synology event to learn more about these devices. So if you do want to keep abreast of this do subscribe to this channel and Span TV. Do follow me on nascompares.com and if you've got any questions about this device or want to learn more, send me a message via Twitter at Robbie